Hello everybody. Our next camera is the Olympus Infinity 76 AF. A little hard to get accurate information on this camera. It was an Amazon UK ad that said it was from 2000. Uh, Collective Blend says it's from 2005. Um, it was also known as the Super Zoom 76S. And to confuse things even further, there's a camera called the Infinity Zoom 76, not just Infinity 76, completely different camera, and one called the Super Zoom 76G, which is also a different camera. Olympus went kind of nuts renaming their cameras for different markets, but I managed to find a little bit about this. It's pretty hard to find. I found specs on a B&H photo ad. It's still up, says the product is discontinued, but it has a nice uh, spec area that's still available on the web. It has a zoom lens, goes from 38 to 76 millimeters. Uh, it's f4.5 to f6.2. It's a pretty nice lens. It's seven elements in seven groups. It uses active infrared autofocus. It's got the emitter detector pairs here. Uh, it focuses from two feet, about 0.6 meters, to infinity. Uh, the shutter is from a 500th of a second to two seconds. It reads DX encoded film. Obviously, it has the clamshell power switch, like a lot of Olympus cameras. Um, reads DX encoded film, and you load in the right, and it feeds to the left from 50 to 3,200. And if you put non DX encoded film in it, it sets it to 100. The flash, I don't have film in it, so it thinks it's winding. The flash goes from 2 feet to 13.4 feet, 0.6 to 4.1 meters at widest, and 2 feet to 9.8 feet, uh, that's 0.6 to about 3 meters, when you're zoomed to telephoto. Um, there's a single button on the top that cycles through the flash, red-eye reduction, the self-timer with red-eye reduction, disable it, it's got the little slash through it, always on, force it on, and then it has a mountain with the slash through it. That presets the focus to infinity and does no flash. And then finally it's night shot plus red-eye, so it does a slow shutter speed to get the background, and then red eye and flash for your portrait, which is presumably closer. Um, the self timer is 12 seconds. And really, that is about it for what I've been able to find. There's a mid roll rewind, it's got this recess button up here. You have to use a, the end of a ballpoint pen or something like that. Uh, the tele wide rocker right here, shutter button. And there's a flash ready indicator in the, at the side of the viewfinder. Viewfinder doesn't have a lot of information. It's just got a circle in the middle kind of telling you where the autofocus is. Um, I haven't found a manual and I haven't seen it, but I did uh, shoot some through this. So it does do a lock and presumably it's autofocus and auto exposure with a half press. So if you get two people and you want them both in the picture, set the uh, circle on one, press it, hold it, and then you can recompose. As long as the lighting doesn't change from recomposing, you're okay. It's powered, thankfully, by two common AA batteries. Got the nifty original strap, and it also has this tiny little pin thing on it for doing the mid-roll rewind. That's cool that I got that. And it's got a tripod socket. I This camera had film in it when I found it. Uh, some Fuji Color Superior Extra 800. Amazingly, the shots that were in it um, are not that grainy. I mean, I really expected tons of grain with 800 film. 
Um, it was about a half roll. I don't know if the batteries went dead through it. You know, for whatever reason, these get donated and then resold. But it had film in it. And the frames that I took on the roll that was in it are a lot grainier. So it's kind of interesting, um, film losing speed with age, if there are already latent images on it, they're not affected that much. Uh, the images that I took with it, even in you know good light, are a lot grainier. So I just thought that was an interesting little factoid. So I also shot a half roll of T-Max 100 through this, just because what I shot came out so grainy and weird. Um, they came out really nice. Uh, a friend of ours has an organic farm down the road, and he had kind of a fall party with an apple pressing and whatnot. So that was a lot of fun. I got some really pretty images. Um, I probably won't shoot with this again right away. I've got some cameras that I tried, failed, and I'm in their second uh, iteration. So I'll get those going, and I'll see you then.